If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Hello everyone and welcome to the Morning Swim Show. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. I'm sitting next to a man who needs probably no introduction, Olympic and world champion Matt Grievers. Matt, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. My pleasure. Uh, you just kind of give an idea of why you were here, well, we were here. Uh, you're doing a photo shoot for Swimming World Magazine, doing, being part of our new technique um, photo shoots. Uh, we had you here doing backstroke starts. Obviously, you've got to be one of the best backstroke starters in the world. You don't win Olympic gold and world championship gold with bad backstroke starts. Uh, my question to you really is, how often during a given week are you working on backstroke starts? Uh, probably twice a week I work on them. And nothing too specific. I don't want to get caught up in a certain routine where all of a sudden I'm at an international meet and the blocks are different. I don't want to be so confident in what I do here in practice that I can't adjust when I do get to the, the big show. But uh, I do work on things I would like to work on anywhere, which is quick hand speed, uh, nice clean entry into the water, and uh, into a nice body line for your dolphin kicks. Obviously, one of the things I, I we all know is your six foot eight reaction time, probably not as fast as everybody else, because you got all that body to get out into the water. Is that something you're working on? I know you said get quick hands, you're trying to just blast right off the blocks as, as much as you can? Exactly, it is hard for me to get off, so if I'm uh, within a couple, one hundredths of a second, I'm pretty happy. Usually, a good backstroke start, if I hit into the five highs or six low, uh, six tenths reaction time, I'm pretty happy. And that's kind of being competitive with some of the best guys, some of the maybe uh, lighter, quicker guys. But yeah, no, that's definitely to help me just get the ball rolling. If I go with my legs first, that is, it's a, it's a lot of body to move just from one point. So having two points of reaction definitely helps me get off the wall a little quicker. Wow, uh, when we were talking during the photo shoot, you had told me that your start really depends on what pool you're at. So basically, you know, no backstroke start is ever going to be the same for you. Uh, talk about that, how you adjust when you get to a pool maybe that you've never been to. Yeah, so the hand bars, I don't know uh, if they're supposed to be a set height for them, but they kind of vary a little bit in height, or there'll be two bars, a uh, high and low, and some have the uh, vertical handhold bars. And basically, I like to find a certain spot where I can get my legs kind of in that nice 90 uh, degree chair position and have my arms extended up. If my hands have to be really low, I just look like this, like my knees are in my chest and I can't have any power uh, to push off the wall. So I just have to adjust my foot height uh, the depth depending on where the hand height is. So if I have a nice high handhold, I can get my feet right up on top of the surface uh, and get a nice explosive clean start. But if the handholds are pretty low or there's no uh, vertical handles, then I usually have to sink my feet a little deeper just to make sure I can get enough power to, like you said, have a quick enough reaction time to not feel like I'm really behind. Uh, something that changed in the rules a couple years ago is now you're allowed at international uh, meets where the, the pads are flat is to have your feet above water. You can have them as high as you want. Uh, are you, were you the kind of person who's like, yes, finally I can have the bachelor start I want? No. <laughs> So for me, being a bigger guy, it was harder to find that a good leverage point to have my feet that high. So when my feet were that high, my hands are like right here with really long legs. It was difficult for me yeah, to, to get a good pro propulsion off the wall or just a good jump. So uh, the littler guys had incredible athletic looking starts in here. I looked, I thought like a lumbering, you know, tall, unathletic guy. So. Um, I'm pretty excited now about the wedge, the change of the wedge, so now your foot can be above, but I have a hand or a foothold, but really I don't have to worry about slipping. In Worlds, in Turkey, I think out of my seven or eight backstroke swims, I slipped on five of them. Not a dramatic fall on your face slip, but one where I definitely lost some momentum, right. and that can hurt throughout your entire race. So I'm really excited about these new uh, changes in the rules. Have you had a chance to work on those new wedges? I have had a chance, and it's uh, it's incredible. It's almost as fast as my freestyle start, um, which is just great news. I think it's going to help everyone just have a sense of confidence that they're not going to slip. I've seen David Plummer, he had a fall on your face slip, 
in Barcelona for the 50 backstroke. I mean, he, he could have won the gold medal in that, and it's just heartbreaking to see uh, a guy work so hard for years, and then you get to the to 10 se or 30 seconds of race time, and it's all blown because of a start, kind of a technicality of, of having this maybe slippery pad. So it's just it's uh, nice to have a good, solid, equal. Um, start for everyone and obviously you know as you as you said at the world championships you would think the pads would be perfect nobody would have to worry about slipping as a backstroker do you go into every race or with the in the back of your mind thinking you know i gotta make sure i don't slip once you slip once hard you do think that it's so hard not to get out of your mind because i've seen guys so confident like oh i've never slipped and then you see him slipping and it is it's not the same you hold always a little back because if you're so explosive that's when your feet do slip and you just drop so yeah it's it's sad I, I mean at the olympics i know some guys were waxing pads and i happened to be in a lane where people before me waxed the pads so i had nicer pads i was like oh the pads aren't so bad they're like what are you talking about they're the worst things ever and same for barcelona i heard people spraying stick them on their or whatever to do to not slip because i mean it is heartbreaking for someone to work incredibly hard just to you know, almost go from a standstill at the beginning of the race. Yeah, yeah, especially for a 50, it's might as well just stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we also had you here doing a photo shoot demonstrating butterfly kick, which, you know, everybody, every swimmer, it's, you know, has to really make sure they work on that timing of where both of those kicks go. Uh, I know we've talked numerous times about you really working on your butterfly and trying to get it up to par. You know, you've, a couple times you've almost won national championships in the 100 fly. Um, you know, where does that level as we approach 2016 getting to? Are you thinking, you know, maybe I'll do the 100 fly at, at the Olympic trials? Right now, it's just that fun event that keeps me really interested in the sport. Just something to not get stale doing backstroke or just specifically backstroke for 10 years um, it gets tiresome. Mm -hmm. So I play around with other strokes. I try out to race like Kevin Quarters and breaststroke from 25s. I can still probably get them 50s sometimes and he blows me away and everything else. But it's a ton of fun. Giles Smith, one of the best butterflyers I believe here. It's it's really fun racing him and, and I have nothing to lose because I'll talk trash and if they lose they're all sad and maybe that's the best <laughs> event. But for me I try to turn around in a win-win but they're awesome about it. Very good natured and uh, they usually win but it's, it's really fun for me to look at Giles Stroke and see how what he's doing and if I can do the same thing. And so it is, it's getting to the point where I'm learning and getting comfortable with it. But it's not gonna be a goal of mine to compete at trials, I probably will do it. And But it's not, oh, I need to make the team in that. It's just, it's a fun event to play around to keep something interesting for me. Yeah, all your primary events will be done, so yeah, why not? Exactly. <laughs> You'll exactly. probably be sticking around anyway, not, don't wanna get stale. It's good training. Yeah, good training, yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, on a given week, I know you do a lot of f backstroke, obviously, you're a great freestyler. I know that's the goal for you to make the Olympic team in a relay again. And um, so how much fly do you, do you usually do to mix things up? Not that much. It's when my backstroke gets really tired, I'll go hit butterfly. Um, or, or freestyle, and on occasion I'll even do breaststroke sets. Uh, just when my strokes get tired, I try not to swim on a, a tired stroke to form bad habits. So it just switches around. I'd say backstroke's my primary, then free, then I'll hit fly up, and then if all of those are tired, I'll do some breaststroke. And you're hoping probably none of those get tired exactly. so you don't have to do it. And, and then I get kicked out once they all stink. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for your participation in this photo shoot. It was great to, um, for me to be able to watch and, and learn from you as well. Yeah, great. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. All right. And my pleasure to you guys for watching today's Morning Swim Show. Be sure to check out Swimming World Magazine this year for both of the photo shoots featuring Matt Grievers. I'm sure you'll learn a lot. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.